Good morning, guys. Happy hump day, happy Wednesday. It's Dave here. I'm outside. It's gonna be 80 degrees today here in New York. I'm actually playing some golf in a couple of hours. I'm outside with Harbor right now, but right now it's actually only like in the upper 40s. So I'm out here on a short sleeve shirt, a little cold. I know it's getting warmer. Um, I'm actually looking at this table. We are restaining this table and I gotta give Kristen credit because she's been restaining it. I sanded it down and when I was out yesterday, she re uh, repainted it. So I'm impressed with that. But I wanna talk to you guys about a little message today. Something that I heard yesterday, I wanna share with you guys. And you guys may have saw my post yesterday about how I'm on a detox from the media because I started finding myself, you know, why am I stressed? Why am I anxious? Why am I frustrated? Why do I feel I need to get into debate with certain things? And I realized I was consuming way too much of the news day in and day out. And, and I'm not regretting it because a lot of it had to do with what I did for 22 years in law enforcement. But I did recognize that it was time to just say, I'm going to check in to see what's going on in the world. So I'm not completely, you know, out of the loop whatsoever, but I'm not going to watch and read and consume media the rest of the day because it doesn't serve me well. Garbage in, garbage out. And I immediately like cut it off yesterday and it was a light bulb moment. So it already feels freeing um, to be able to do that. But what I want to share with you guys today is in life, it's not a matter of what happens to us. Listen, for everybody in their life, the sun goes down for everybody in their life. People get sick. People are going to have death in their family. Everybody in this world has dealt with pandemic. Everybody in this world has dealt with losing a loved one at some time or another. Everyone... Um, in this world has dealt with struggle, whether it's with school, whether it's with the job, the loss of jobs, trying to start a new business. Everybody in this world deals with trying to be healthy, trying to not get sick in this pandemic, trying to maybe be healthier, fit, more stronger. Everybody deals with trying to be a better parent. We all deal with these things. That is never going to change. It's, it's not a matter of what happens to us in life. When it comes to wanting to achieve something and be successful, we need to realize that it's not a matter of what happens to us. It is exactly what it comes down to is, and remember this guys, it's 100% what we do about what happens to us. We have 100% control in what we do in our life every single day. Our attitude, the choices and decisions we make in every day, and how we handle all of these life things that are thrown at us, that's what we do control. We can't control what the weather is today, but we can control how we act if it's a rainy day, how we act if it's a sunny day. And every single day, we have to recognize that if we want things to change, if we want things to improve, if we want things to get better, we need to improve, we need to get better. And there's two things, two ways you can go about this that I wanna share with you guys that you can immediately apply to say, how can I improve and get things better in my life? Okay, number one is we need to be able to self-evaluate and self-audit ourselves with our past life experiences and where we are right now. So if somebody was to ask you a question like, you know, David, how much money have you saved in the last year? And my answer is none. Well, then what plan are you on that? Well, what plan did somebody sell you on? Or how is your health right now? Are you at the weight you want to be at? Is your, you know, and if you're like, no, I still need, you know, I haven't lost the weight that I wanted to lose from a year ago. Well, then who sold you on that plan? So the thing is, is that where you are right now, you need to be able to look back at your life experiences and you need to be able to audit them and say what is working and what's not working, right? We need to be able to internalize and not blame other people, not blame the circumstances, just like I went over, right? Things will happen to us, but we control how we react. Once we take complete ownership, of our mistakes or what we're doing is not working and we learn to correct it, then you will have improvement. So the second thing, guys, is this. You need to study other people that are successful in the field that you're trying to be successful in. So there are books out there, hundreds of books out there, how to create financial wealth, how to pay off debt, how to how to eat, you know, nutritious foods, how to be a better parent. There it's just there's so much out there. But you know what? Most people don't take the time to study and learn from people that are successful in whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. Guys, why is it that million dollar homes or more have libraries in their house? You ever wonder that? 
It's very simple because the most wealthy people in the world, they read, they study other successful people, they find people that are in the niche of what they're trying to accomplish, and they study them. And guys, I'm here to tell you that you attract more of what you are. If you are somebody that plays the victim card, or if you're somebody that's caught up in drama, or all the hate, or you're on social media debating with people, you know what you will attract more in life? More hate, more drama, more other people blaming the world for why they are, why they are where they are. But if you study other people that are successful and you plug yourself in with mentors, maybe it's authors, or you get into a community of people that are seeing things the way I'm like that like I'm explaining, you will attract more of that in life. You will have more people in your life that look at it in a positive life and you will attract who you are. You attract more of what you are. So if you want more, you need to become more. So guys, the two things again is one, you need to self audit yourself. And number two is you need to study people that are that have achieved whatever it is you want to achieve and you need to do what they are doing. And the last thing, guys, is this. It's never too late to start. It's never too late to start. Yesterday, I was like, bing, aha moment. I need to detox my mind. I need to focus on listening to a lot more stuff with motivation and success and look at this country of the United States of America that's full of abundance and opportunity, which we don't hear about on the news. People that have built new businesses during this pandemic, people that have, you know, done amazing things for other people, people that are growing and thriving. Like, but if you go out there and you spend time studying those people and see how they did it, you will start feeling motivated. You will start feeling better and you will see there's so much abundance and opportunity out there. And we're not in a, in a, in a lack mindset. We can't be in a lack mindset. So guys, that's my message to you guys today. In recap, it's not a matter of what happens to us in life. It is how we react to what happens to us in life. And then second is you need to study people that are achieving whatever it is you want to achieve. And you need to be able to self audit yourself and change what you're doing if it's not working. So guys, that's my message for you guys today on this Wednesday. Um, I hope it was a value to you guys. Please share the message. Tag a friend. Comment below. Um, I appreciate everything you guys are doing, and let's make it a great day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.